This photo coming up released by the Martin County Sheriff's Office shows the twisted aftermath of a wrong way driver suspected of DUI. It's the holiday season as we all well know and the sheriff's warning drivers that cracking down on drinking and driving. Well, that's here as well. Contact five investigator Dave Bowman live in Hobe Sound where the crash happened. Dave. Michael, just imagine driving in the southbound lane here where you see the tail lights of those cars up in front being confronted with an SUV coming right at you. Well, that scene played itself out this weekend here on US 1 near Osprey Street in Hobe Sound. And we it led to a crash and we have a warning. The image of that crash is very hard to look at. No, ma'am, I'm calling to report a car. It's hard to believe no one died or even had life-threatening injuries. Moments before this crash... We're northbound on US-1, but he's driving in the southbound lane. Okay. Over six feet, I'd stay closer to 70 miles an hour. A driver called 911, warning of a dangerous driver. And then... Oh, 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 head on with a car, ma'am. He just head on with another car. Deputies blame a suspected drunk driver for the crash. And nobody died. That's, that's that's hard to fathom. That's amazing. That's just amazing. Horrific. John Nelson of Families Against Drunk Driving says this wreck could have devastated an innocent family. He lost his brother to a crash caused by an impaired driver, and he hopes this picture might deter another tragedy. I think it's an incredible thing, and uh, they should go put it in front of the high schools. The motto, don't drink and drive, has become white noise. We've been saying this for years and years, don't drink and drive. And guess what? People are still drinking and driving. Martin County Sheriff Deputy John Budensick says his office is doing all it can to deter impaired drivers. A recent Contact 5 investigation found Treasure Coast County stepping up DUI enforcement during the pandemic when fewer drivers were on the road. The Martin County Sheriff's Office released updated numbers for 2021. 61 alcohol-related crashes, 294 DUI arrests, more than 369 DUI-related charges. It shows us that we need to remain vigilant and stay on what we're doing. John Nelson hopes the image of the crash stays with everyone who sees it and that law enforcement steps up DUI enforcement. I mean, I think what they should do is put up some DUI checkpoints. Well, while DUI enforcement has become a year-round effort, Martin County Sheriff's De deputies plan to step up enforcement during the holidays right into the new year. So if anyone has had too much to drink at an office party or just a gathering of friends, don't get behind the wheel and drive. Reporting live in Martin County, Dave Bowman, WPTV News Channel 5.